Hey, hey, what's going on, people? Um, welcome back, guys, to another episode of my channel. And tonight, I'm videotaping this because um, I decided to set up a quarantine tank. And the reason why is because you see my bucket. Uh, yes, okay. My bucket, I have a sick koi angelfish right in there. He's been there for two days, so I've been treating him. But I don't like the I don't like the fact that you know that I'm using the bucket. It's not the appropriate way, so I decided to uh, set up a quarantine tank. And my sister upgraded her 10 gallon tank to a 20 gallon, so she gave me the 10 gallon. And um, now I have a huge, huge mess in my room because I originally was thinking of putting that tank underneath the the sand or the 55 but the space in there is way too small so there's no way it's gonna fit in there so as you can see I have a huge mess my clothes is all over the place I'm sorry the video quality is really bad uh, I don't have the best camera so bear with me guys so like I was saying you might not be able to see it clear, but it's a huge mess. I have like everything all over the place, and and um, so yes, the tank is right inside, right there. Uh, I don't have water in there yet, and uh, I'm still deciding whether or not I should put it in there. I had to remove my clothes and all the stuff that I had in there, but I don't like the way it looks in there for the for two reasons. First of all. This, um, uh, I'm sorry, this almost fell. Um, this stand is not designed for an aquarium, obviously. So this, this wood is really, really, um, soft. It will not be able to, to hold the weight of the aquarium. So I decided to put it on, I think I'm going to put it on top, on the top, my bed. Because this part, it looks tougher it's actually stronger I I put myself on top of it and you know I didn't hear a crack or anything like that and plus I can feel it too so I believe I'll probably put it like on top of on top of that corner right there I'll probably have to move a couple of things around I'm thinking of uh, chopping off this part right here like like this part like cut that part off all the way over there and then have that part, like this, that piece of wood eliminated. And I guess I'll probably have to raise that rack maybe three, four inches more. So that the tank can fit pretty nicely in there. And, but pretty much, you know, that's everything. You know, all my stuff is all over the place. Um, so, yes, I don't know. I, I'll keep you guys updated. And, um, so yeah, thanks for watching this, man. And if you guys have any comments, any suggestions of what I should do with the tank, feel free to leave those. And I will seriously consider them. Like, seriously, seriously. So, um, take care, you guys. And I'll be making a video of the fishes that I have in my 55. I got a couple of new fishes. Some, um, uh, fishes that die. And and the algae problem that I have or had in this case so uh, I'll be making a video about those soon so thank you guys for watching this and um, see you guys later